What is up everyone? Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. So we're here at the save point in the Numara Palace Corridor Garden. And we just gotta go this way. And see what happens. That's not all right. You okay? I'm so tired, Cook. Looks good. There's the queen. I'm terribly sorry for the trouble. It will be over. Just a moment. Sorry, this will be over in a second. Hey, Squeaky! Don't care about the Queen's continued good health, huh? Huh? It's me! <sighs> you! Get out of the way! This actually doesn't make any sense because the Queen is immortal, so... What does it even matter that Jansen's doing that? <laughs> Plot hole there. And that's not a spoiler because we already know she's immortal because uh, they said earlier that she's been living for a thousand years. So, obviously she's immortal. You do anything funny and the queen gets it. <laughs> Figurehead or not, she's still the queen, Tiny. If anything happens to her, you'll be held responsible. You know better than to try anything, right? I mean, you're not stupid. You're a real thug. You know that, Jansen? There's an exit in the back. Huh? Behind us. Jansen, keep it up. And fall back. Right. <laughs> Don't move. Don't move. Don't you dare move. Don't move from that spot! You swine! Ah. All right. So we're now in the Namara Palace facade. In the upper portion, obviously. Not sure where we're supposed to go. What are you doing? We're going to get caught.
Okay. Let's go this way then. There's people here. What are you doing here? You can forget about getting into the palace. Enjoy your freedom while you can. The queen will pass judgment on you soon enough. The queen is actually with us, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dude's out of his mind. Hey, stop goofing around. They're going to catch up to us. Oh, cutscene time. Oh crap. They're sitting in the tanks. This guy's annoying. General Kakanis. You won't get away this time because you're all under arrest on suspicion of spying and for abducting Her Majesty the Queen. You will come along quietly. All right, it's false time. Against okay, here goes. Magic Heavy Tank Cannon Tank Unit and Cannon Unit. Apparently, you can still mysterious perfume from them. Kind of weird how you can still perfume from a cannon, but right, let's go with the. A uh, cannon unit first, I guess. I'll probably just use power hit, right? As for her, we want to do all shield. And then for Mac, I'll just have him do spirit magic. Uh... Let's just boost power, I guess. Or I guess I could do... I could just do shadow. I think it's fine. Run us over. Well, cannon. Uh oh. Who's it gonna target? I'm gonna target Cook. I'm gonna target everybody. It does fire damage too, apparently. There we go. Who damaged all the parts there? the uh, tank unit now. Let's see here. Um, as for her, I guess I'll just do Zephyr on everybody. Um, do another shadow, I guess. Oh, it's charging up here. Probably gonna do more damage now since they charged. Eh, still wasn't so bad.
Oh, I survived that. The cannon unit did. We'll just finish it off with Seth there. There's not really much point in... I guess I can do casting support on Jan on Jansen, I guess. And he could just do Spirit Magic Shadow. Oops, I forgot to... Full tank charge. Uh oh. <clears throat> Still pretty weak. Lowered my G lowered our GC though. Let's go out to the cannon now. <laughs> See here, I think I'll... Yeah, let's do flare again. I think I'll just do power hit with him, honestly. Okay, I didn't do so much. Probably not a good deal to use that then. Just do shadow. I thought it would do more damage than that. Else is his shadow. Yeah. At least this boss is like very low amount of damage. Like the damage it does is really low. We can practically survive forever. Alright, so we should be able to take out the cannon now. I guess I can heal a little bit here. And then we'll do shadow again. Hopefully Shadow can finish it off here. Yeah, it's only does 50 damage to everybody. It's not a lot. Not a lot at all. I can heal for three times that amount. And Jansen can heal for twice that amount. <laughs> Alright, start taking out the heavy, or magic heavy tank here.
Now all I can do is tank it, so we're good now. Which is very weak. This bomb is going to do power. Uh, I should have done this sooner, actually, but whatever. It's not like it really matters anyway. This battle is like really easy. It actually does increase the attack by a lot. And there you go. Pretty easy boss. Enough for everybody to level up there. 3,000 gold for defeating that boss. Four myster mysterious perfumes. 13 SP. Pretty nice. Okay, Kam learned Taunt. Kam learned Black, magic level, Black and White Magic Level 3. Seth learned Spirit Magic Level 3. Alright. I need to turn my AC on, guys. It's really hot in here. It gets really hot in this, in this room. I just have to turn the AC on, so... Sorry about that. I mean, you guys won't be able to hear it too much anyway. My microphone's pretty good at uh, preventing... Uh, background noise. Gonna blow. Oh crap, the bridge is going to collapse. Even if that bridge would have hit Kaim, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because he's immortal. He would have just got survived. He could literally survive anything. Of course, I don't know how it works when he gets his limbs chopped off or his head chopped off or whatever, but... I don't know. Yeah. Sorry about that uh, thing back there. Don't be. Well, I didn't want to pull a stunt like that, but listen, did I hurt you? I, I'm sorry if I did. I didn't mean it. It's fine. Everyone is safe now off the road. Well, you know, I should really be thanking you for helping us escape. Well, since these children were there. You're acting kind of weird. You got a crush. Would you shut up? We had a moment there. Uh, Ming, are you okay? Yes. Hook, Mac, why are you two? Did something happen to your mother? She's passed on. 
Please don't let your spirits fall. I'll always be with you. Thank you, Aunt Ming. <laughs> oh, why would a big boy like you be crying, Hack? He's going to change from here on out. Seth. Hmm? What you said earlier, that we were friends, is it true? Yeah, but this isn't the best place to stop and talk about it. We need to get out of town. What will you do, Your Highness? You said earlier you couldn't leave because you were the Queen. I'll go with you. It seems I must. You come with us? Yes. Awesome. All right. Yeah. All right. Got another party member, the queen. Hold on. We're being pursued by both Numara and Gungara. We should probably find a ride. Ride? Where? How? Let's go to the harbor. I've got an idea. Okay. We're going to commandeer a boat. View the composite magic tutorial? No. Anyway, now we have Ming. And we can bring her into the party. You can only have five party members though, so you have to remove somebody. I recommend removing Mac. Because I want to have two healers. What? There we go. Now I'm just going to want Ming in the back row since he's a mage. Uh. Yeah, level one composite magic. Yeah, Paracure, Seal Cure, so he can still heal a bunch of status elements and she has all fire. All Aqua and then all Wind as well. So basically she can do damage to all characters. I wonder if it's better to have Mac in the party though because of that. As for Ming's stats, she has... Uh, yeah, she got good magic attack. Um, good SP, good amount of SP. Um... Vitality is pretty low. Attack time is pretty low as well. But her casting time is really good as you can tell. It's a 1. So that's actually really good. She also got pretty low evasion too. But the reason that you want her in the party is so she can learn stuff. Um, you can learn a bunch of stuff as you can tell. Now obviously her composite magic is probably going to be a lot better, but I want to learn some stuff of her, so you definitely want to bring her around instead of using one of the other characters. Okay. I 
I don't want to go to the port right now because I think I'm going to end the video here. Yeah, let's go here to the forest and I'll go and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and later.